gust around 25 or so. Four of us on the property. How much of that lighting? And we're going to have mostly sun. How much of that lighting you get right yesterday? That was kind of wild. That was, it was, because we, number one, we don't get hardly get lightning here any time of year, especially in the summer. So it was kind of weird. Yeah. It really was. was. Yeah. That was wild. Awesome. We survived the lightning at trails and made it to day three of the Bannon trip. That round at trails was wild, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We're doing another spin around Old Mac, and the weather report from Shu couldn't be better. Shu is a legend at Bandon. Every day on X, he posts the weather with his patented 0 to 10 scale. Today is looking like a 9. Clear skies, light winds, it's time for a good one. Dead last. Because <laughs> I look fat. I think I'm taking most of the There is something correlated to speed and weight. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Carlos. The early banter has started already as the guys have been discussing who would win in a sprint amongst the five of us. Carlos has the pedigree, but Father Time is not on his side. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe so that you don't miss that race in a later episode. It's epic. At this point of the trip, we are primed for better golf. We've adjusted to the time change, we've already seen Old Mac once, and the winds are as low as you could ask for. Hole 1 is a short par 4 and an easy handshake to get started. Wide fairway and just a few bunkers to be avoided to have a short wedge in. Yeah, that might work. Something like that. We are going low today. <laughs> the key when you have a large fairway such as this is to still make sure you pick a specific target. The last thing you want to do is swing at nothing and hit a poor one. Hey, you guys yep. enjoy your day out there. Thank, yep. you. Thank you. Miller pops. Oh, it's so bad. Not that again. Miller hates his, but he's in the middle. Sometimes we just have too high of expectations. Sean misses the wide fairway, and he's in for a wild ride on this first hole. Okay. Let's go, boys. All right, all right. Here's the fairway result that Miller just hated off the tee. He's got just a short wedge and a chance to start this round off right. Great oh. swing. Yeah. That a boy. Ooh. Wee. Ooh. Let's go, baby. Well done, dude. Oh. Let's go, baby. Lowe's with just a short wedge in as well, but from the rough. This one gives you a great look at the green complexes at Old Mac. Undulated, firm, and tricky. They can funnel your ball away, or they can funnel yeah, it closer. Shot. I hit a perfect drive yeah. that ended just short of the greenside bunkers and just a flip wedge in. What we got left, man? 55. 55? 55. I think I'd probably play 55. I'd rather be a little short, have enough to putt. 60 max. 60. Okay. Just right at it. And I hit a solid first wedge in, so we have this hole surrounded. You get your first look at the ghost tree right off the bat, and it's one of my favorite parts of the property. Definitely my favorite yep. logo. That's it. About all you could do. That's like that. That's like spot. Sean has been on an adventure here, and after a week of great play, he's playing a bit of ping pong early. It can get away from you if you're on the wrong side of the hole. Hang in there, bud. You're all right. It's early. It's early. That clears the way for three birdie putts, starting with Carlos, who just misses. Right, uh, look the right side. Okay. He's going to try and go left. Yeah. I'm with you. Keep it inside. Edge if you're gonna die it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like a straight uphill seven footer to start the round. That's the second round in a row that I birdied the first hole. And if you've watched anything on this channel, you know how I feel about birdying the first hole. It's not always a great sign, which is probably why Miller takes the safe route and lags his birdie for an easy par. The second hole is a short par three. You want to avoid the nasty bunkers, but it's a generous green, even if this pin is tucked well to the left. Okay. 
Yeah, pretty calm, slightly up. Yeah, slightly cool. Pity. Stay right. This is definitely a sucker pen. So you hear me say stay right, I want nothing to do with it. So I'm aiming well to the right. Look, even with a nine iron in my hand, you gotta play your dispersions and prioritize hitting the green to avoid being short-sighted. And every now and then, you'll pull it to the left side of your pattern and be rewarded right with a tight birdie putt. Good shot, oh, great D. ball. Shit, you are going low today. <laughs> great ball. Well That's done. Good. Just cut the stay right part. I we're, pulled it. Yeah, I good. pulled it. <laughs> Nobody's got I, I wouldn't name it there. I was aiming, at the, know. aiming at the great tree right of it. No, dude, my father was good enough. That's how you play good golf. You aim at the oh, and you change your dispersion. Now your dispersion is no longer what it was. Yeah, shoot the purpose. Yeah, but you have to say, I'm going to hit that great tree, and a great shot goes at that great tree. Yeah. Right. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Right. If it goes at that, I'm not going to be mad, right. even though that's 15 feet right over. That's a bit of an education on dispersion, but the same strategy applies to the best in the world. A lot of those highlight reels you see, they weren't aiming there. They just missed to the good side of their dispersion. Miller's putting from off the green. Carlos with a wedge. Wow. Beautiful shot. Chip. Well done. Wonderful hands there. Thank you. Sean with a hybrid. There's so many ways to get it done, which is what makes Old Mac so much fun. And all those were great shots. Unfortunately, they aren't converting the par putts. These greens have some slope in them. I have three feet to go two under through two. You can't birdie them all if you don't birdie the first two. And I was not committed to this putt. That's defensive, and that's a par. That was a weak stroke is what that was. But Carlos misses his putt as well, so maybe that hole was just too small. Unkind. Onto the third and the signature tee shot at Old Mac. After Stone Cold topping it with a two iron a few days prior, I'm taking something a little more forgiving. It's a huge fairway, but a blind shot. That's a pretty big hill you gotta get up and over, and of course, you have to miss the ghost tree. That's fine. That's fine. We'll Which Sean comes dangerously close to pegging. No real drama, and we all get it in play with just some short clubs into the green. Keep it boring, man. You like a hard 52? I think it's a smooth 52. Smooth 52? Yeah. I have just a short wedge in. And come out a little tentative. That's well short. My 110 club went about 90. And now I have one of those tricky little lag putts from off the green. A lot of break. Focus on pace. And this is what happens when you miss your line. Catch a big slope and leave yourself a long putt. Okay, good putt. Yeah, not bad at all. These undulated greens can make you look pretty silly in a hurry, but if you have a putter in your hand, there's always a chance you can make it. Oh! As Carlos just slips out. Too hard. Okay, how about not at all? Okay. I think it's going right up top. Yeah. He just blasted it through it. Yeah, maybe get a little tighter, but it's gotta go. I, I think I think they had it, just kinda got it outside it. I've left myself some big work to do up the hill. This is early in the round. I'm under par and already kicking myself over the shorty I missed on two. You don't want to give one away after hitting the middle of the fairway. Yeah, so yep. Good yeah, pot. Dude. What a pot. Hey, it makes up for that other one. Yeah. What a momentum saver. Maybe I can avoid the first hole birdie curse. 
The fourth hole has had my number. It's a long par four, but visually it has just tricked me into flaring it right, and right is dead. Dude, I've flared this right in that bunker twice, so I'm with you. I gotta go left. Hard to believe. It doesn't look like there's golf courts over there. You can't see all the room left, but you gotta trust the caddies, or tangent, and hit it to the left. Not in the bunker. Not right. I felt like I pulled this off the planet, and it's just fine. It's not right. I will take it. The hole is long, so Miller busts out the heavy metal, and I also have to go with a hybrid. Oh, this is perfect, huh? You good with this out of here? I think so. It's 205 front edge, 240 back edge. Okay. You just gotta be, that's a sucker pin, man. If you can split the pin in the bunker, kind of middle of the green. I see it right edge of that tree on top of the hill? Yeah, yeah, just skirt it up there. Okay. Into the wind, I think you hit it full. Okay. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, dude. Well I mean, that's gotta be... Get up it. Generally, the course plays firm, so balls should bounce up onto the greens, but this one lands in a soft spot. Rather than bounding up to the green, it stops in this collection area short. 33 on the gun? 34 on the gun? Yeah. You know, on the top of that hill, it kind of releases, yeah. right? So you kind of get away from it a little right bit. Out so just trying to mentally get to the top of the hill and let it release. Okay. Kind of yeah. just in, I'm between bumping it and I kind of think if I bump it 10, no. pace, 10 feet on, you don't like bumping it? I prefer just taking this whole ridge out of play. Okay. Right, by going high. Okay. But if you're not feeling it, we can go low. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go, I, I like it. Take this first half out of play. Okay. Like 28, 30, is that kind of yeah. to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just almost to that little sign in the back, but not quite. Right, just half left. the flag stick. Okay. Yep. Just 30-ish yards, got a plan for quite a bit of release, even going upstairs. I typically prefer to go low, but with the steep slopes, that was more dangerous, and I hit a solid one to nine feet. It may not sound all that sexy, but that's a great shot. Pretty solid lows, well done. I see what you see early, but this ridge is gonna bring it down to the right. Okay. I mean, I just, it's tight though. I just call it a fat cup. Okay. Kinda, it's a little up and a little down, so I call it slightly up overall. Be okay. Big greens, on. pace is critical, yeah. and Miller yeah. nails that one. You just gotta love tap ends. Oh. Sean doesn't quite get behind us, so I gotta putt this without the free read. I feel like it should want to go left. Los is. Um, I think that, right? I think it does. Not, not a ton though? No, I mean, it's pretty... No, it, it feels straight, the little ridge right there, I think it keeps it pretty straight. Inside right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's just kind of dead straight. Okay. But you're gonna favor a side, I like that. Let's make another one. Dude, I don't see anything. Okay. Looks like it's a little up too. Okay. Luckily, I got Matt on the back, and he knows these greens. Oh, great putt. Thank you. That's a good four. Let's go. Putter's heating up today. I missed a short one early, but the putter has now been great three out of four holes. Just find a way to get it on the green. Sean learned from my putt. And Carlos with a good one. That hole must have been closer to regulation size. The fifth hole is a short par three, just a wedge, but the green is very large and very undulated. This round, we got one of the easiest pins. It's right in a bowl. Everything wants to funnel to it. It's not gonna hurt you. And I just miss catching the slope. So instead of four to five feet, I have closer to 30. Uh, four. Wait a 
come back now. Come on. Yeah, good putt. Good putt, Sean. Three. Didn't hit it. A little higher. Than it. Easy par. We like those. The boys had some good birdie looks here. And after Carlos misses. Bingo. Hey! Oh, hey. hey. I love Finally. this hole. Finally. Yeah, I like this hole. Miller gets hot. The sixth hole is a par five that starts the journey to the ocean with the big reveal on seven. The fairway does narrow up closer to where I want to hit this driver, but the rough isn't super dangerous, so you'll be smashing a lot of drivers. You just have to avoid the bunkers at Old Mac. A little ride of it with the draw. Okay. Big old fairway. Yeah, that's fine there. Absolutely. I nuke that one and we'll have just an iron into this green. Two bills. Hey, I cat, he says one mile per hour that way. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty strong. I don't know if we need to count for one mile an hour. I think it's a five. It's 185 front edge. Matt's going to have a pygmy doll of AI cat. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> stick it with a pen. <laughs> Coming after your job. That's right. Uh, which side of the green is that kind of? It is right, right center, right center. Okay. I got five iron, I think. Yeah. I just try to split the, the bench up there and the flag. It's it better to be short. That's it, dude. It's better to be short. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Maybe you start at the flag with the draw. But overall, yeah, I was kind of looking at that like broken part of the railroad. Yeah, yeah right where the steps are. So yep. That iron came out with a fade. That's not normal for me, and I just missed this green to the right, but it's pin high. Okay. That actually faded a little bit. After seeing the boys putt from everywhere, I felt like it was my turn to use the Texas wedge. But I have to admit, I generally use my wedge from off the green, and I am embarrassingly bad at this shot. And this one comes up woefully short. I had nothing to be afraid of, and after a mediocre attempt, I'll have 15 feet for birdie. I'm telling you. It's the first hole birdie curse. Drop a comment of your superstitions. So I'm griping about a putt from off the green. Sean had this fun lie. I told you to avoid the bunkers. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah, like, and we played it at the course, like. <laughs> Sean wins the award for having some of the toughest shots this trip. If you didn't see his plug lie at trails, you should go back and watch that one. And he's handled all of these really well. Good. Good. Yeah, well done. Still, even after a great bunker shot, he has some work left for birdie. Just a little more pace to hold that. And it comes up short. Miller with another birdie putt. This was his best round of the trip. He's quietly putting together a very solid front nine. Here's my 15 footer for birdie. And it's a ho hum par. I'm still at one under, but it feels like I've wasted some opportunities. The seventh hole is one of my favorites. After a level tee shot, you have an approach shot that goes straight up a big hill to a green you can't see with the big reveal of the first time you'll see the ocean at Old Mac. We're just crushing driver down the right hand side where there's plenty of room to leave just a wedge in. Launched. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Nice. Usually when I play it? I think the 52 is a little low. Okay. Unless you're, unless it's, where do I have to carry it? 90. Have to carry 90. Oh, yeah. Okay. 90. I think it's 105 shot. It's a 105. I was it's a 52. And you can't be short. Yeah. Can't be short, obviously. Yeah. Back edge to help you commit is 110 into the wind. So, okay. I think I'm getting there with one of those. Yep. Uh, left of it? I go right at it. Right at it? Yep. The challenge with the second shot is club selection. It isn't the deepest green, and factoring wind and elevation is a challenge. That's where the Tangent AI caddy can help, or of course, Maddie the caddy, who gives me the right stick to get this on the surface. Cheers, so hopefully it's on the green. <laughs> I was looking for a little golf clap. <laughs> it's still an intimidating shot, which can lead to tentative swings and chunks like this from Carlos. The walk up to seven green is awesome. You can start to hear the waves and finally you realize you're on the coast of Oregon.
My wedge was a good one, but it came up a bit long, leaving me just over 30 feet for birdie. I'd sign up for that every time on this hole. But I don't trust that one, and now we'll have to grind for par. Wonderful touch. Sean, on the other hand, hits a great putt. Oh! Got it. oh. 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 Miller continues oh, to scare the hole. He's had birdie putts on almost every hole so far this nine. It's hard to convince myself it wasn't downhill. I know. I've heard enough times to know it's not. Yeah. Like that ball out? I, I think or it's even less than that. Really? Yeah. Just a soft level putt, man. Let's see if we can keep the putter alive. It's been good on these mid-range putts. But that was tentative and low. It takes me back to even. Matt gives me the out that my read was better than his, but it was the lag putt that was poor, and Matt's read just about everything perfectly so far this trip. It's a bad bogey that takes me back to even, but it's hard to get frustrated out here. A little slice of heaven. The cliffs, the gorse, the waves, the golf course. Just find my zen refocus, and make sure to enjoy the golf, even if it's not as good as you hoped it'd be. The eighth hole heads away from the ocean, a long par three with the huge green separated into sections by a valley, a canyon even, right in the middle of the green. The pin was back left for us, so I'm hitting a six iron down the hill, just looking for the putting surface on the right section. Here. Out of the air. Just kick right. Okay. Didn't see anything. You're okay. Okay. Looks like it's going down the hill to the left, up the hill to the right. Overall, right, uh, left to right. But it's going to go harder right going up that hill, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. And so, let, yeah, playing it out to the left. Like maybe four working. feet, five feet. That little knob going up the hill is really going to kick to the right. So you think maybe where Sean is right now? Yeah. Yep. Kind of some uh, okay. Yeah, that like light colored splotch on the upslope. Yep. Just on the inside of that. Okay. Or just right over it, right through it. Okay. Miller's putt is a great look at what you're up against on this green. He hit the front section, which means he has to go through the canyon to get back up near this flag. It's tough. A little right of it, but that's okay, man. It's a good pace. God dang it. Hell, those are sweet back nice pace of making a green. Yet. Mm. Beautiful putt. And it wants to kick it way right, but I think the pace you put on coming up the hill is going to knock it through it. My ball got into the canyon, so it's a little easier, but this becomes a pace putt. Just get it close. Pace right. No. Bit work to do. And it's another one that comes up short. Tracking my putt details in the Tangent app, it's gonna tell me that I missed a lot of putts short. The greens out here aren't lightning, and I've been a little tentative. Good run at it. Good putt. Could've been worse. Supposed to break out of that yep. left, left center. Yeah, I agree, I think it looks pretty straight to me. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep! Oh. Sean comes up short as well. Damn. And I have another straight putt. Fun fact, I hate straight putts. It makes it harder to commit. I feel like the hole is bigger if you can favor one side. Pushed it. Another bogey. The ninth hole is a dogleg right par four. Driver can get through the fairway, but you don't want to take on too much risk by going further right. I hit a good one, but it just trickles into the rough through the fairway leaving about 100 yards for our second shot to this back pen. Just dance. Just dance. All right. We'll take it. Pup for birdie. Fairways and greens, or rough and greens in this case. I've hit just four fairways on the front nine, but that's my seventh green. The ball striking is pretty good. The lag putting has been terrible. Speed is king. 
I feel like I should be several under par right now. The dreaded first birdie curse. Hit that like and subscribe and help me bust out of it going into the back nine. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh. Oh. It's not like lag putting at Old Mac is easy. You see the boys struggle to get the pace right as well. Undulated greens can be tricky. I've got just 21 feet here to end the front nine with a birdie and get back to even par. I can buy that. Right? Got to. And that ball is afraid of the dark. It's a front nine 35, solid golf for sure, but the course is defenseless at the moment. It's time to go on the attack, next time on The Good Miss. Smash that like and subscribe for me, it'd mean a lot. Let's grow this thing.